Alright, ladies and gents, Sinistry 01 is back at you with more Metal Gear Solid 2 HD walkthrough, nice and stealthy. Hey there, buddy. We're gonna keep going. Looks like we've got one more bomb to get over here, and we're gonna do so right now. Uh, looks like I found you. Right in here. The C4 reported on the roof of Strut E has been taken care of. Explosives were planted on the Harrier 2 stationed on the roof. Good work. Only one more left to go. This is Pliskin. Do you read me, Pete? I'm here. What's up? Ryden, you need to hear this too. I'm listening. I checked out the bottom of Strut H for you, Pete. Wait, what's this about? I asked Pliskin to look around. Whatever. Knowing Fat Man, I can't shake the feeling that all the bombs so far were just wrong. So did you find anything? Yeah, a hell of a lot of C4s packed into the bottom of the strut. Pete called it right. I knew he had the real thing up his sleeve. So all the other ones were dummies? No, they're a threat all right. But the detonation wouldn't be enough to destroy the entire shell. But the C4s Pliskin found would inflict serious structural damage. That's not the bad news either. These are sensor proof. What? New model, I guess. The ionization sensor can't detect them. The whole thing is sealed tight to prevent vapor leak, and there's no trace of that cologne signature. Pete, looks like he fooled you. Yes. But you managed to find the thing anyway. It was sheer luck. Bombs that are invisible to the sensor? Any ideas, Pete? Are there more out there? I'll go see for myself. You can't move fast enough. He's right. I can try the spray from a distance. Hold on. There's something not right about this one. I can feel it. Well, Pete, should I come back and get you? No, there's no need. Raiden, you have one left to go, correct? Right, except for those scentless ones. How about you, Pliskin? I have two left, not counting this one. Okay, it'll have to be me. I have the level four card that'll get me into shell two in any case. You'll never make it. With that bad leg of yours, they'll spot you for sure. That won't happen. I, I can walk just fine. I can even run. What do you mean? That bomb, five years ago. I messed up. Even with all my experience, I lost it. And a church was lost in the explosion. All those kids playing nearby, too. These past five years, I've lived a lie. Lied? Yes, lied. I didn't lose my leg in the explosion. Uh. So many dead. All because of my mistake. All I could think about was hiding from the crime, shielding myself from the public outcry. You're about as I low wanted people as it to gets. be sorry for me, for my weakness. <sighs> I faked being a victim myself because I couldn't bear to face the families of the real victims. This is no prosthetic. I can keep my footing on catwalks and hike over deserts. I lived my life so well I haven't even answered to myself for my sins. It was supposed to be a shield has become a shroud instead. I've killed my soul by playing the That's victim. Instead far. of protecting me, it's made my life even more hellish. What good can that do the victims? I know. I'm a coward. Hey, Pete. God forgive me. I can walk with my own two feet, and I need them to stop Fat Man. His crimes are also mine. One of omission and arrogance. No one should teach the skills I taught him without a clear conscience. This is the only way I can defuse my own sins. I get you, Pete. That one's all yours. You got it, Raiden? I understand. Pete, I've taken care of guards in struts G and H of Shell 2. I wouldn't recommend you go into any of the other struts. I owe you one. I'll get back to freezing the baby bombs, then. You do that too, Raiden. I'm on it. I'll have the radio with me if you need to get in touch. Just don't ask for Peg Leg Peter. He's gone for good. All right, lots of information that we had just learned here. All right, so we want to be able to get by this guy, so the best method to do is just kind of wait him out. He won't see you when you're in this position right here, so just wait till he goes past you. All right, looks like we're good. Uh, stick to the outside because uh, they won't be able to hear your footsteps if you're on the outside. But they can hear your footsteps if you're on that grating there. 
as you can see it, it's a little different. Pick up box number three. And you can have fun with this guy over here. He's a complete douche. I love how it just gives you enough to actually go behind him, but you can also go in front of him without him waking up as well. But he does have a cone, so when he does wake up for that split second, just make sure you're not inside the cone. I love the moves that we can do, it's really cool. Alright, we're ready to keep going. Continuing on, this can be a fairly tricky part to get by, but uh, the good thing is, of course, we can actually see where the enemies are. But pretty much just wait here, there's going to be two guards looking at each other. As soon as uh, one of them turns around, then we're free to go. Go ahead and grab this new box. Now this is the section where you can actually go to different areas. Um, you can be transported to different areas or whatnot. Just wait here for a second until that guard looks in the other direction. Get his attention. You're actually able to sneak on right by. However, I would wait here. Because this guard will look in this direction. Alright. So you can get down here and see what kind of other cool stuff we got to grab. We can't go in there yet, obviously. But um, what will actually be down here is if you haven't picked up any mine, uh, the mine detector, it'll be here. And I think in here is just a ration. So other than that, there's really no use to go down here. If you didn't pick up the mine detector, this would be where another one would be. So what I've decided to do is because I really want to show you how cool this stuff is. Um, we're going to go ahead and use this transport method. Of course, you can see there's a camera there, there's a guard, so we're going to wait for this guard here. Alright, so once he gets out of this way, then we're going to use this transport method to go back over to B. Now, if you want to go over to B, you need to go and use the food box, which is cardboard box number one. you can see it stops it'll give you the opportunity to go on and we're able to um, skip around and go to a different section and we're going over to strut B the orange Nothing here. really cool stuff shows you different areas and whatnot There's something in there as you can see but I'm not really sure even how to get into that room right there Maybe it's one of those rooms that's uh, at, what do you call it, um, it's locked right now, we can't get to. So see, it takes us all the way back to Strut C Dining Hall. So this is really cool, kind of cool method to use, easy way to get around. And this is exactly where we need to go next. So I, I did this way just because I like going through the D connection bridge. As I feel going this route is easier because there's only one patrolling guard here. Very easy to get by him too. He just goes back and forth. So either you can actually sneak up straight up on them. Here you want to be a little careful because there are, as you can see. <laughs> but we made it. And I believe there's a camera here too, so you got to watch out for this. Quickly go ahead and get your back up against the wall. And we're good. Alright, so we got a couple of bombs in this room. We need to be really quick. Timing is very crucial in this section here if you want to be able to get through here without alerting anyone. 
First bomb is right here. We're gonna wait for this guard to turn around. He is the reporter guard, so he reports in three different areas. So we need to watch out for him. There's two guards on top and one on the bottom. This is very timed, so you gotta be quickly. You gotta be quick when you do this, or else it's not gonna work as well. And there's one more bomb we need to get, but you need to be super quick about getting over to this corner here. Of course, get out your box. Make sure you're looking in this direction so you can see the guy there. And you might just be able to see this guy up there. Yeah, you can see his flashlight. It means you can tell which direction he's looking in. Can't see him from that angle. You can also see that there's a note over there. This guy patrolling here that reports, he reports in three different places. The one you see right there, the one he reported in earlier, and he stops right here in front of the stairs. So we're going to wait till he passes us. Now, like I said, it's very timing, so you've, you know, you've, it's a lot of trial and error, so you just got to kind of make your way. This is the, the method that I found to be the fastest and easiest for me. As long as your box is out of his direct path, then you won't have to worry. Wait till this guard gets by. Grab the last bomb here. I have the last C4 frozen. There's nothing showing up on the sensor now. Good work, Raiden. You're way ahead of me, kid. I still have one to go. How's your bomb, Peter? It's a bomb, all right. Sealed C4, and in huge quantities. You think there's another one in Shell 1? For sure. Somewhere at the bottom of Strut A. Why are you so certain? If this bottom section of the Strut is demolished, Shell 2 will be well on its way to destruction. You mean that Shell 2 will actually sink? Not immediately. There'll still be five Struts left. But if Shell 1 loses a Strut at the same time, it'll be a very different story. The big shell's structural integrity depends on a very exact balance. If both shells lose a strut each, the whole structure will tear itself apart under its own weight. What do we do? I have a sensor that can locate even those scentless C4s. It makes combined use of a neutron scintillator and a hydrogen bomb detector. You brought that stuff with you? Of course. I made the calibrations while I was in the pantry. Does it work? I just tested it, and it definitely responds. But the best I can do is a sound beacon, not the radar. Sound? The shorter the interval between beacons, the closer the target. I get you. There's another one in that pantry I was in. You can go back and get it. It's all yours, Ryden. I'm going to study it some more and see if the freezing process will work. Don't touch the other one until I say so. OK. I'll stand by until you radio in. All right, so make sure you get out your box again. This part is probably the trickiest, because there's guys on the top that can see us. But hopefully they're going to be able to do this, and of course we'll make it a little bit more difficult since we're actually going to be going for the node, which you don't have to do. Alright, so grab this note and looks like we made it. Alright, now we got that freaking hard part over with. Alright, so now we're going to go back to where we were before and we're going to use that cardboard box method. And if you remember which box it was, it was the food box.
Ah. There we go. And it should take us right back to the dining hall, and that's exactly where we need to go. So that's a little quicker method, but it's only because we wanted to get the node. If we didn't want to get the node in the last section, then we could have just went back to where we were to the dining hall. But, you know, I like a challenge. Alright. Peter, I have sensor B. Good. Head to the bottom of strut A. How's your invisible bomb? I'm looking at it, but I'm keeping my distance. How's Pliskin doing? A few more minutes. Whatever. I just got to the last strut, but there are a few enemy sentries I have to take care of. Does it look bad, Peter? Maybe. It's an odd one. The detonator hasn't been activated. What? But the sensors are live. Which means... This is Pliskin. I've located the last C4. Is that it? I'm about to freeze it. Then... Wait! Pliskin! Damn! That was it! What's going on? The detonator just woke up. It's counting down! What happened? The big ones were rigged to be activated when all the baby C4s went offline. Right. The one in Shell 1 should be counting down, too. Hurry! What's the remaining time? 300 seconds. 300 seconds? Right. Move. Get to the bottom of Strut A now! All right, you heard the lady. Let's go. Lickety-split. Wait for this guy here. Now you can bypass the guards that are in this room and just use a chaff grenade. If you remember, there's cameras here. Alright, wait on this car to turn around like he normally does. No, I'm not good at that whole, you know, doing two jumps and getting up right on him, so that's why I'm not even going to risk it. We are almost there. Like a glove. Right. Bliskin. Listen carefully. What is it? I fell for it. Fell for what? That man has my number. A proximity trigger. Microwave. M microwave With a seven foot range. It's not a technique I taught him. Neither was that multi-bomb booby trap. Looks like he's far surpassed me as far as explosives technique goes. As for the rest... Pete, get the hell out of there! There's less than 30 seconds left. It's too late. No! 
Triskin, get away from Strut H as fast as you can. Pete! Right! Keep your distance. Use the spray from as far away as possible. Me? You can do it. I know that. I'm not so sure. But I am. Do it. I know you can. Well, unfortunately, he didn't make it. He will not be in the next sequel, prequel, slash... Yeah. Alright, so, as you can see, things have changed a little bit since last time we were here. They decided to kind of tidy up and maneuver different stuff. We still got plenty of time as far as our bomb goes, and we know exactly where it is. Because I kind of showed you exactly where it is. That strange, strange thing that we saw in the very, very beginning when we first started the plant chapter. Now, if you want to stay as far away as possible, you can get right here. Get your cooling out. And there he is. Like a glove. Colonel, I've neutralized the bomb. Good work, Raiden. It was a great loss for everyone. Yes, it was. Colonel, any damage report on the explosion? Seems that the duct for diverting the contaminated seawater was destroyed, and the central section of Shell 2 is flooding. The explosions ignited the oil slick on the surface. What about the toxins? The chemicals stayed in containment. There's no immediate danger. Is the big shell stable? Shell 1 was unaffected. The price was high. But the threat of the bomb is over for now. What's the next objective? Rescue the President. Get back to the upper level. Roger that. All right, well, I guess we're pretty much done, at least with the bombs and whatnot. So we've already got everything that we need in this room. It's time for another boss battle. That's right. Well, not really much of a boss battle, but I'm going to leave you guys here. Hopefully you have enjoyed the walkthrough so far. I guess we can have a little fun before we go. You guys are bad. Look at all you. That's right. Get back in your hole. It's where you belong. Yeah. Alright, so we're ready to do this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is going to be the end of this part. Next, we got some boss battles up ahead. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for comment, for rating, for subscribing, just for being awesome. Love every single one of you. Thank you so much, and we're going to continue on. Hopefully you guys will enjoy. Right. The terrorists have retaliated for our bomb neutralization. What? A hostage has been killed. Shot in the head. They shot one of them on the roof, just to make sure we caught it. One of our satellites caught it clear as day. Damn. They announced they would kill one every hour from now on. What are my orders? What should I do? Stay with your mission objective. Rescue the President. What about the other hostages? President Johnson is your first priority. Priority my butt! They're all in danger! Jack, be reasonable. I know what you're feeling, but Definitely you can't not. save them all. No, not by myself. Are you expecting that Pliskin Whatever. to come through? Well, looks like he's turned his radio off too. I can't complete this mission by myself. That man was not included in the simulation. He is not a factor in this mission. What do you mean by that, Colonel? Your mission must remain a solo effort. What about the SEALs? No second attempt? They haven't even gotten to planning that. All we can do is wait. In the meantime, you're our only hope. I understand. Raiden, go and rescue the President. You can start off by getting to the upper level of Strut A.